Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino alert dialog. So an alert dialog, something that pops up, takes the attention, the focus of ev everything else in the application. It's good to give the user some warning, an error alert, or if you really need you know, to give them some information. And a Cupertino one, this one started in the iOS format. So first of all, I'm going to create a child. And this is going to be a button that, that will trigger the alert. So you can trigger it however you want. So I'm going to put raise button. That's the alert, I mean the button that I'm choosing to implement. So raise button and I'm going to say child. And for the child, I'm just going to have a text widget. This will say click me. And then I'm going to have unpressed. And here, this could call a separate method. The code inside here is what is important. So you need to do show dialog. And we'll sort all this out in a second. So in show dialog, there needs to be a semicolon at the end. We need to do context is equal to the context. This is just this right here. So this isn't anything we've created. And then you need to do builder. And we need to put open close bracket, build context. We call this context. And we're going to use the arrow operator, say new. Actually, we don't need to say new. You can say Cupertino, Cupertino alert dialog right there. Now, we'll close brackets in here, we can set it up. So, the few basic properties the one we want to do is title, and the title I'm going to put a text here, and I'm going to say alert, for example. And we're going to have content which will provide some more information, and I'm going to say text. I'm going to say phone is too hot. I remember getting that warning once on my iPhone 4. That was the first time I saw it and it was on the iPhone 4. And you can put some actions. And these are buttons inside of the, the dialog. You can just do Cupertino, Cupertino, dialog, Cupertino, dialog, action. And for this, there's a few different properties that you can specify is default action so put to true so you know if basically you can trigger some sort of enter return command that's what this will be and child just put text and i'll say bye and obviously on pressed we can have a specific you can do text star i want you to experiment with the other properties so for this I'm just going to put on pressed and I'm going to say print and I'm going to say buy so save that so we'll get this button that pops up here click that we get it alert phone is too hot and I thought click buy and you might think nothing is happening why isn't it happening and that is because we need to handle it in here so we do navigator dot of do the context dot pop and now if we save it let's just so if i click it as you can see now it disappears so if you want it to disappear you need to have this so this just closes like the current thing that's you know part of the navigator the current thing that's been you know that has the focus so what I want you to do as an extra task is figure out, I'll give you a little clip, you to have, you figure out how to add more buttons. Basically, you, you just duplicate the Cupertino dialog action. As you can see, this is an array of widgets. Duplicate this, and you can change the tile, so it says something different. On press, the functionality could be something different. But apart from that, that's all there is to a Cupertino alert dialog. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.